Welcome to our journey through time with the beloved cast of The Waltons, the classic TV series from 1972. Today we're taking a seat by the campfire to reminisce and catch up with the actors who brought the Walton family to life. Join me as we explore where they were then and where they are now. John Wemsley as Jason Walton. John Wemsley captured hearts as Jason Walton. In 1972, he was a young 16-year-old. Fast forward to 2023, John is now 67 and reminiscing about the good old days. Yeah. Which one are you? I'm Jason. How old? 15. Wow. Um, you seem to be in some really tough times. Well, we've done nothing. So Happy times and, and difficult times. Eric Scott is Ben Walton. Eric Scott took on the role of Ben Walton at 14 years old. Today at 64, he reflects on the show's impact and appreciates the timeless nature of its storytelling. I don't have any excuses. I just went along. You've got a mind of your own, haven't you? A conscience that tells you right from wrong? I'm sorry, Mom. It'll never happen again. I saw it later on after it was edited and music was added and what, what beautiful, beautiful stuff we put together back then, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. And I Judy Norton as Mary Ellen Walton. The role of Mary Ellen Walton was beautifully portrayed by Judy Norton. She was just 14 at the start of the show and has matured into a graceful 65-year-old, still active and engaging with fans. Elizabeth, no visitors. Oh, let her stay. Grandma, what you've got could be catching. I don't want Elizabeth coming down with it, too. Yeah, but they're in here. Elizabeth, out. Oh, cool. So you're on sort of the... Do in terms of the overall span of it, you're you're kind of into the final stretch. The last the third. Mary Beth McDonough as Aaron Walton. Mary Beth McDonough was the sweet Aaron Walton, joining the cast at age 11. Now at 61, she looks back with fondness at the memories and lessons from the show. Someone answered. Tell them your business. Hello, this is, well, you don't know me. No, 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 there isn't a fire. I just, no. Yeah, he, the great Santini, he, that's what he ended up doing. And he, he came to our um, 40th. Ah, and good. so that was like... David W. Harper as Jim Bob Walton. Jim Bob Walton was brought to life by David W. Harper when he was just 11 years old. In 2023, he's 61 and occasionally looks back at his performances with a mix of nostalgia and pride. Nothing special, I'm afraid. Well, it doesn't have to be a turkey dinner, just as long as it's better than a Charlie servant Langley. Well, you don't look too starved to me. Because all those cute girls keep feeding me up there. Uh, I still have a little trouble watching myself when I'm in a scene, but I can go back and, and kind of go, wow, this, this was a good show. Ralph Waite as John Walton Sr. Ralph Waite, the patriarch John Walton Sr., was 44 years old during filming. He passed away on February 13, 2014, at the age of 85, leaving behind a legacy of strong family values and integrity. You're talking about falsify. I graduated from high school. Not according to county records, Mr. Walton. The county's got to be wrong. I got a diploma around here someplace. A group of, of actors that brought to people some sense of the dignity of life and the importance of love and education. Those values that were permeates to... Joe Conley as Ike Godsey. Joe Conley played the beloved Ike Godsey. At 44 in 1972, he aged with his character until his passing on July 7, 2013, at the age of 85, remembered fondly by fans and co-stars alike. 63 cents that you've already paid in, it comes to 280, only 20 cents more, and it's all paid for. Of Hollywood, you wear a, a toupee. And I said, no, I don't wear a toupee. <laughs> it, it, it's real stuff, it's hanging there. Keith Coogan as Jeffrey Burton. Keith Coogan joined the cast as Jeffrey Burton in 1979 when he was nine. He's now 53, with a career inspired by the professionals he worked with on the set. What have you got to say for yourself, young man? Nothing. I guess I'm just not as bright as I used to be. Then later, uh, certainly inspired with like people I worked with and family into what the profession was and who had come before. Kami Kotler as Elizabeth Walton. Kami Kotler was the youngest Walton, Elizabeth, starting at seven years old. She's now 57 and shares her joy in revisiting the episodes and the experiences they brought. 
Chomp Boy. Is Grandma gonna die? Yes. Yeah. Right? So we enjoy episodes because we get to do something exciting or go someplace fun or maybe because the guest star is super fun to hang out with and so we just enjoy being with them. Michael learned as Olivia Walton. Michael learned portrayed Olivia Walton with grace and strength starting at age 33. Now at 83, she reflects on the role and the impact it had on her life and career. Some are ill, some are hungry, some are lonely. Grandpa used to take him presents, smiles he called him. A little bit you know, off. And um, so that was it. And I, my son, my youngest son had said, Mom, you know, when you drink wine, you're different. Helen Cleave as Miss Mamie Baldwin. Helen Cleave delighted audiences as Miss Mamie Baldwin. She was 65 when the series began and passed away on December 28, 2003, at the age of 96, leaving behind treasured memories of her performances. Deplorable jitter music. Jitter bug music, sister, whatever you call it. But this will be a welcome change. Lynn Hamilton as Verdi Grant. Lynn Hamilton played Verdi Grant starting at 43 years old in 1973. Today, she's 92 and continues to be celebrated for her contribution to the show's enduring legacy. Boy. Nice to see you, Mrs. Grant. Give my best to your folks, John Boy. I certainly will. John Boy seems to have quite a gift for teaching. Yes. Form of communication. You are trying to communicate to your audience what it is the playwright has, has given to portray. And if I can't understand what you are saying... Mary Elizabeth McDonough as Aaron Walton. Mary Elizabeth McDonough played Aaron Walton, starting at age 11. In 2023, she's 61 and looks back at her time on the show with a sense of accomplishment and nostalgia. Yeah, pretty soon. You know, in the long run, you might do more for him if you give yourself some time.